Um, well, I started when I started to study in the year 2000 and some works, um, maybe the most early works were made in 2002 when I first returned to this old house of my grandmother's where I then started to go every summer actually. And that was maybe the starting point and from that on it has been like a continuous project, not series that start and end, it's more like adding pieces or adding photographs to this whole of the images, like, like continuing with the subjects, maybe finding a little bit different route or an interest that feels, feels something that could be, could be found, or, but it's, it's more like a continued thing. Yes, it is almost like a stage and it was actually the only place that was left like it is from my childhood. So the only place I can go back to and it's strangely familiar and it has changed, it has not changed in a way. So that's why I've been returning there because I feel that I always find something new, although it's so familiar and I recognize the place, but of course for places that you have been as a child, it almost feels that it becomes smaller and smaller when you go back there or the, or the scale is different. You remember some things, but they have changed through dreams or through memory. So that's why for the first time I returned there on 2002, it was really interesting to, to see these things again. I think there are certain colors that are appearing and reappearing and that there is, um, I don't know, like a world of colors that I am drawn to and I somehow used in my works. One if, is of course the color red, <laughs> which is um, quite a strong color in, in, in advance. So um, I, for me, it's only uh, like a color of the inside or a color of the momentariness in some way. And of course it's such a strong reference because loaded with different meanings. So, but for me, I think it's just something that I some, somehow miss and then I want to include in some of the works that also it's something that of course, it somehow connects the works, but still has a meaning with the color of, of an interior, of, of an experience of the inside. Mm. Uh, yes, with the models, it's usually that I have a place that we go to and I maybe have some kind of an idea of the atmosphere or, or, or the place I would like her to be. But uh, then it happens so that I usually photograph quite a lot and the significant choice is made afterwards which picture it's going to be. So I let things happen and quite freely and I enjoy it quite much that it's possible to have surprises, that it's possible to go I don't know how to say, with your intuition and then choose afterwards because it can bring quite uh, surprising, interesting things into the image. And also because I feel that uh, an image or a photograph transforms its subjects. It becomes different. It becomes totally different than the actual place we're in, even though um, there, there has been some plans or some, something that has been set up before. Uh, I think one of the most fascinating thoughts I have found from um, poet Rainer Maria Rilke's letters that he is talking about um, the world in a space and this this thought of um, art transforming its subject. So I find 
that's somehow really interesting. And also uh, in cinema, the films of Ingmar Berryman are really uh, close to me and I have found them really uh, inspiring in that way. But, um, yes, I think something that has been written or something that I found written was these thoughts of Rilke about objects, about transforming objects, about um, <clears throat> also about the momentariness of an experience that a viewer can can get closer to, also through art. Well, that is an interesting question of what is a good image and why do I choose one specific image. I think I have found that uh, usually it has something to do that it surprises me, that it is different than I have thought. I like, somehow I like that it's not maybe totally clear what it is. There can be a little bit movement. It, it's, it's more like, I like things that are not uh, maybe uh, thought through in that way that they are totally standing still. So, and I also take into consideration how it connects with the other images. That really is important. If I find, find a connection that I feel is important, that might be also the uh, reason to choose an image. But usually it has to do with uh, a link that I make with <clears throat> a certain moment or a, or a feeling of momentariness or a surprise that I can find in an image. Yes, I think nature or maybe even a forest is something that I can see as a part of my images, naturally a part, almost like the house. Um, it's, it's like an also like these trees as objects or this forest as a stage in some way. And of course, all this can be find, found really close. So I sometimes, when I'm visiting my father, I just go to the backyard and make a photo because nature is so close there. It's, and it's something that is not also bound to a certain place. It's more like um, a view in general. That, but I haven't given that much thought that it's strictly Finnish nature because that's just my surroundings that I have been to. So I have found that it's in quite many pictures. It is present there. But um, does it have a specific meaning? I don't think it does, it's only I'm searching for the atmosphere that I, I think I sometimes find in nature or in forest. Some simple meanings, I think it's about, for me it's about the mystery of things that are visible. With photography, it also has to do with moments and time in past tense. But really, like trying to reach the concrete material world and being able to um, realize these fictional qualities, fiction of my own, or the meanings that can be seen as invisible meanings. But for more concrete things, I think there are no words for I, I'm making these works because they are images, they are not words. <laughs>